I actually felt totally fine. I was just like, yeah, I mean, a lot of people were like, oh, you must have been so sad, and oh, weren't you bummed? And I was like, no, <laughs> I, was, I was fine. I, I, you know, I know a lot of people were upset, but you know, I don't, I don't think they should be because I'm totally fine and happy with it. And um, you know, I guess I just, it, like I said, I'm just not a competitive person. And I, that, the main thing for me wasn't winning. And so it was just, that's why it was so funny for me that I don't, I don't understand why I made it so far because I just, I wasn't in a competitive mindset. I was just doing what I love to do and that was singing. Um, so, you know, what the thing I was looking forward to was being able to continue doing music and seeing where, what opportunities came after the show. So I wasn't, I wasn't, you know, upset at all and I think David Cook is an excellent winner. It was really scary. Um, you know, like I still had a voice. It just, it didn't last very long. <laughs> so if I was, you know, I was always scared to do performances because I didn't know if my voice would last all the way through. Because uh, sometimes it wouldn't. <laughs> sometimes it's like, uh-oh, it's not here anymore. And it had an effect on my breathing. And just the way I talked was kind of funny at the time. And, um, but you know, I. I took voice therapy to get through it because the doctor said you can either do surgery or try voice therapy and see if that works and I decided to go with voice therapy and um, you know just kind of things really slowed down for a couple of years and I just was going to school and doing normal things but um, you know it was it was interesting to see my voice come back um, and it, you know um, it was what's funny is on American Idol I had the same doctor that I had who he's the one who um, told me that I had vocal paralysis and <laughs> so he's the one who diagnosed me with that and so it was just funny to see him again and he just said wow this is I just can't believe your improvement I, he just said it's it's a miracle and so you know I, I wasn't sure what's happened I was like you know I guess my voice just got better but you know to hear him say that I was just like wow um, this is truly a blessing to be able to do this and I'm just really thankful to be able to con to do music and perform now, even after that happened. It's just amazing to think like, you know, from going just singing and just, you know, to now touring and making an album and um, going all over and traveling everywhere is just amazing. And it's just like I said, it's just like a blessing. I can't believe that it's actually happening to me. I don't think that it will change me. I I think there's I have a lot of support. I mean, I will change as a person because I'm only 18, so I will keep on, you know, becoming and maturing into a different person. But um, I I think that I have a lot of things there to help me. Never, <laughs> never, no, no, because even on the sets, I was singing the whole time. <laughs> I don't, I don't shut up. You can ask my sister. She's always telling me to shut up. Whenever I'm home, <laughs> I'd be singing late at night and she'd be banging on the door. She's like, shut up, I'm trying to sleep. I'm like, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't mean it like in a, like, you know, low self-esteem way. It's just, I don't, it's just weird for me. I don't, I, I, I really honestly don't like the sound of my voice. I don't, I, I can't stand it. I, I hate it. It just sounds, it's a mixture of like s stuffed nasally with breathy, wheezy, <laughs> gaspy. So it's just weird. I don't, I don't like listening to myself. And, you know, for the longest time, I didn't understand why people liked my voice, but I was happy to know that they did because I loved singing so much. But for a while, I didn't believe that people, when I was younger, I was like, they're just being nice to me because I'm a little kid and stuff. But, you know, as I got older, it was, you know, I gained a greater appreciation for it. But um, a second thing I don't like, um, I don't like the way I look. I mean, I think I'm weird. I don't, I don't mean like, oh, I wish I had plastic surgery or anything. You know, I'm fine. You know, I, I, I accept the fact that I'm weird looking, you know? That's what, make, what makes me who I am. <laughs> I just think I'm funny looking. <laughs> and then the third thing, um, <laughs> um, I, I think that I could eat a lot less than I do. <laughs> 
I love food too much, and I eat a lot. And I know people are like, oh, well, you know, you're a growing boy. It's like, yeah, growing this way. I, I just want to make, you know, and they're like, well, you have a good metabolism. It's like, well, I don't want to keep that, you know, if I don't have a good metabolism when I get older, I don't want to be eating as much as I am right now because I eat so much and I don't stop eating. And everyone's like, oh, well, you're so skinny. It's like, yeah, I still eat a lot. <laughs> I'm gonna